It is on. Okay. Okay. So, my name is Lisa Corbett. I'm one of the artists at the Mandalayan Gallery. Recently, I've been doing uh, acrylic collage. Now, all of these, these particular acrylic collages are in, um, images of the deck behind the Dandelion Gallery. I have this feeling that Joaquin is going to stay about the same for a long time, but I, I just get this hunch that it's going to change. And I want to say that the way it is now, it looks like it's uh, in a time capsule from the 40s and 50s and the 60s. Well, anyway, it's kind of a bohemian place. It's a place for artists and musicians. And people would just love this type of uh, um, life. And also, I love Waukegan because the people here just will not let it die. You know, they never lose hope. So I think it's wonderful. Can you tell me about your paintings here? Um, I like, I think what sets me apart from some artists is it's not just to record what's here, but I've had several people tell me that I have this poetic uh, spirit. And I guess I like to see, to me, I see the extraordinary uh, in ordinary things. I can just imagine sitting in this chair and looking out over the Waukegan River and daydreaming and getting ideas and you know, thinking about life. Is this chair out behind the Dandelion Gallery on the deck? Uh, well, I took these, actually, I took these a couple of years ago and during the summer. I don't know if that chair is still there. Sometimes an idea takes a little while to, uh, I don't know, it's, got, it's like a baby. You know, it takes so many, so much time to develop, and then it's got to be born. And all of a sudden, you wonder why you haven't done it before. So, I like the composition. Tell me how you decided to. Uh, Composition? Oh, well, you know, like everybody in art school, I learned it. I wanted something to be more interesting about it. I wanted to make people feel like they were automatically part of the composition. That they, you know, like being in a movie, you know, where there's no, there's no screen between you and the movie. Suddenly you're in it. And that's what I strive for. I feel like I want to go sit in that chair. What about this top one? Uh, well, I thought it would be interesting to use the same chair three times. I think it has the number three in artwork uh, intrigues me. I don't know if it's because I have a sister and brother and we have this interesting dynamic as children, but I like the way the three moves. I think that uh, uh, uneven numbers in art is good. And the bottom one is the small. Okay, it's uh, one of the doors, and what I think what I like most about it is that the shadow from that huge tree uh, extends all the way over the deck and goes up the wall. Right, and of course I like the texture of it, but there's something about it that makes you just want to stand there and relax and think about life. I like the negative space that you've chosen. You sound like an art teacher. <laughs> Okay, so we got to do that enough? <laughs> oh, that's good.